capacity, how many of you are going to watch the Super Bowl or some part of the Super Bowl? San Diego State marketing yeah. professor Miro Kopik's lesson plan. So this is pickleball? Includes a look at Super Bowl commercials. It should be called wiffle tennis. The Super Bowl is the Academy Awards of advertising. The MBA course is called strategic branding. Oh, it's the, it's the perfect topic. It's, it's how do brands live? How do they evolve? How do they target not only, you know, their core target, but really bring in a lot of other folks. And that's why the Super Bowl is so amazing in that regard, because it's going to introduce a lot of younger viewers to, to brands that they maybe have not thought about that much. Also the founder of Bottom Line Marketing, Kopik has his graduate students just this analyze star power. You look like the Pringles guy. And what makes a celebrity really add to an ad? No, I don't. Versus taking away from an ad. And the Pringles commercial, I thought that was very funny with Chris Pratt and how he kept on opening his phone. He looked like the Pringles guy with the mustache. So I think it's very subjective in what that individual finds funny and whether or not the celebrity attracts or detracts value. As a sports fan my entire life, anytime I see like a little ad with any type of celebrity, oh, no. I definitely am attracted to it. Maybe a different beer? No, no. Miguel Ultra. Okay. Because most of the time with celebrities, it's usually funny. I can wait a moment more. Lionel Messi, the best soccer player in the world, uh, is in uh, the ad for Miguel uh, Ultra. What did, what did you think of that ad? I thought it was really cool. And the spotlight was more on the athletes themselves. And it appears Messi is scoring with the audience. Mr. Messi! Maybe because Messi prefers Miguel Ultra. Then, if you want to be great, then drink Nicola Ultra. BetMGM is for everyone that loves sports betting. Everyone but Tom Brady. Wait, what did I do? BetMGM is running its very first Super Bowl ad. What was the concept? It was that, oh, yeah, anyone can win on BetMGM, but not you, Tom. You've won too much. Want to go pounce it's the emotional connection that's key. So I think anything with animals. <laughs> but then the question is, Wait, what was the brand? Hellman's. So how many of you think it is worth $7 million for a 30-second spot on Super Bowl Sunday? Okay, all of you except for you. I think that if you're a smaller brand, then it's worth the exposure because you don't, you, you don't have the exposure yet. This Starry is mad good. A brand like Starry, which is a brand new soda. Wait. Who's that? But for these companies like Budweiser that, you know, everyone knows what a Budweiser is, right? Then it's like, is it really worth it? Because everyone already knows who you are. Though some argue they expect to see the Budweiser Clydesdales, which are back this year. Honestly, I see a Clydesdale and I do actually think of those commercials. So um, I guess they've done a really good job of creating an association with something in the real world you might come across. These business school students, all in their 20s and early 30s, know advertisers are fighting for their attention. Do you watch live TV typically? No. no. So despite the high cost, the payoff right. could be priceless. Lower middle income, middle income, upper middle income, well to do, are all watching the Super Bowl. And then forget the Super Bowl ads, people are going to be tuning in to watch Taylor Swift. Yes, they are. It's going to drive eyeballs. In fact, I bet it's going to push that viewership to north of 115 million, which we were last year, because you're going to bring in a lot of new fans that ordinarily wouldn't watch the Super Bowl. Ah, tomorrow here on CBS 8, you're going to get a chance to vote for the ultimate Super Bowl commercial. Boomer Esiason and Daniela Rua will host the interactive specials starting at 8 p.m. So fun.